So I was in a car accident where if I would have left my seatbelt on, um, I would have broken my neck. I saw what was happening. I took my seatbelt off and rolled around onto my back. And I was in the back seat of, a, uh, of the, the vehicle. The car flipped over upside down. The seat actually broke from its supports. The idea, though, of seatbelts is to save lives. You wear your seatbelt so that you're not thrown through the windshield and, you know, impaled on, you know, whatever matter is out there or whatever, you know, whatever. You get thrown outside of the vehicle and the vehicle runs over you. To that end, let's say that you, like, yeah, I don't know, some of us, are a father of, let's say, three kids. You die. Where do they get their money from? The state. Is it fair for everyone else in the state to take care of your children because you decided that you were too grown to wear your seatbelt? It's not a situation like they're telling you um, what position you can have sex in in your bedroom or who you can have sex with. This is a situation where your actions will cause the government money. That's not fair for the rest of us. There should be a law that says you have to wear your seatbelt. Now, I believe the American system of governance, I believe the system has major flaws to it. I believe the system itself is structured in such a way as to dishearten enough people so that others will be able to game the system. We know it happened in the past. There are various different things within the tax code that are completely, you know. I do think that there should be a specific allocation for, for certain services, which, you know, we all use. The ones that we don't use are the ones that we don't support. You know, we shouldn't be forced to support those types of programs, just as I should not be forced to support your kids. So how do we get to the point where we can change those things? To be able to impact the system, you must be part of the system. We're at the spot and you say, let's order pizza. What kind of pizza do we want? I don't say what kind I want. If that doorbell rings, pizza guy comes up, drops off the pizza, and we all put our money forward because understand, regardless of whether or not we say what kind of pizza we want, we have to pay for that bitch. So we all bring our money forward. They crack open that pizza and I'm looking and all I see is sardines. How the hell can I be mad if I haven't put in my input? If I haven't said, I don't want that. I want this instead. I don't like Hawaiian pizza, but fuck, fuck a sardine pizza. Give me the Hawaiian. If those are the two choices, give me the fucking Hawaiian pizza. I'll, I'll pick off the little bits or whatever. Lady wants to come in and say that every single house on every single block needs to be pink and fucking chartreuse. I don't care what needs to be done. You're not going to be my mayor. You're not going to be my dog catcher. Unless the other person is uh, a racist bitch. So, you know, that's how it has to be. If I can't have what I want, then I've got to go and attempt to get as close to what I want as possible. If I don't do that, I fail everybody in my family. If we don't vote, what we are saying is that we don't have a sense of ownership in this country. I view this land as my land. Anywhere I set foot on this land is mine, unless you own it. Then, it's, then that's, that's your little piece right there. Everywhere else, it's mine. How could I possibly not vote? How could I possibly just let whatever happen? Just toss it up to the wind and, you know, no way. I take ownership of my country. You know, I change channels on the TV. Why wouldn't I change channels on, on the legislator? You know, I don't, I don't want you in office anymore. Goodbye. You step up, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens with you for a while. Don't let those who want you to feel as if you have no power win. They want you to feel powerless in this situation. They want you to feel like there's nothing that you can do. They want you to feel like no matter what you do, you will still lose. If you give in to that, then you do lose. And your kids lose. And your wife loses. Your parents. Think about it. 
every voice counts. Spread the word. Peace. Peace. Proof, evidence, and reasonable logic.